ki khubor ka bate si tv lawan rashafi ta ka frank motors kamon ban long slur ringkat bat ka man ba shongkhia ka shong ha ka jinglong skem bat jingjit ba start jongi ka tata haria ka kali ka ban san ya ka linti ya jongphi ka la ban long ka jongphi minta book ya ka tata haria ha frank motors lat korni leni phone ha number hnyo not sau san ar not hnyo khanda hnyo lai O Menteri Rangba ke Jilla U Konrad Ki Sangma U Loong Baga MP Lok Sabha Jong Ka Tura Parliamentary Constituency Ka Agatha Sangma Kelatrai Borba Ban Wanra Yaki Kampen Roy Hari Lom Garo Nalor ke MP Skim Baka La Wanra U Konrad U Loong Baki Don Seki Wepat Ki Skim Jong Ka Sorkat Pedeng Ki Baka Agatha Ka La Wanra Syari Lom Garo U La Kentat Yaki Jeng Keno Baka MP Ka Tura Ka Klem Le AA See the MP Skim as you know throughout the country during COVID time the government of India has stopped the implementation of MP land scheme. So therefore it's not just in the uh, constituency of, uh, of Tura, but it is all over the, uh, all over the country that uh, the MP scheme was affected. And this was done by the NDA BGP government. So therefore uh, you can ask the BGP president himself about that and then he will know I'm sure. So that's number one. Number two, apart from the MP scheme, you have to realize that the MP's responsibility is to do with large number of central schemes. So today, our MP from Tura has played a very, very crucial role, whether it is uh, in projects like PMGSY. It is based on her recommendations and her follow-ups that programs and schemes moved forward. It is under her monitoring that all these things went ahead. So she plays a very crucial role in ensuring that PMGSY sanctions were made from center, because without a recommendation, it doesn't go through. So she has done these kind of different programs. In Jaljivan, all the kind of support lead from center. The support has been from our, in at least for Karawils, has come from our MP. Where whenever we require it, she has approached the uh, minister and the government to ask for help for these kind of programs. So therefore, when it comes to development, one has to realize that MP's responsibility is not just MP scheme, which, as I said, was affected for the entire country where government of India stopped the scheme. Uh, but the, 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 the development is in other departments also, which our MP has been doing in a very aggressive manner. And not only that, in MP scheme also, wherever the schemes have come in, wherever the money is coming, she has implemented and all of that has been transparently shared with people also. Uh, well, the important point is that we have to achieve this objective of 22,000 uh, hectares. Uh, but what I was trying to say in my speech was that while we do that, uh, there are many concerns and many challenges. And therefore, one of them is the balance act between livelihoods, livelihood and the overall uh, afforestation. So, I am raising a concern and raising an issue. There are many ways to balance it out. For example, coming up with the right schemes, the right policies. Now, for example, how can mining and at the same time afforestation and streams, uh, you know, the, 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 to ensure the streams are not polluted, how can we manage that? So maybe we can sit down and discuss and come up with policies and programs where certain distance from certain streams can be maintained. Uh, certain areas should be maybe, uh, you know, come out as uh, no mining zones. So I'm not saying that we're doing that, but what I'm saying is that we need to discuss these matters, take the stakeholders on board, and then come to some kind of a conclusion, keeping all these factors in mind is what I'm trying to say. And therefore, I hope that these dialogues will continue and we take all the stakeholders on board. Sir? 